Hey, it's just a reading here. Today is October 12, 2023. The time for me is 4.37 p.m. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been gone for a minute, but I am back to do some readings for y'all. All right, no projecting, a clear understanding, a truthful understanding. Y'all, this reading may resonate with you. It may not. Take what is, lead the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading I'm about to do. If you're new, hey, we're coming back. What's up? Let's go ahead and get into the energy for Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Past couple of days. Let's tap into the energy for you guys. Alright, first card for Pisces. And the devil came out. First card. Ooh, all these is just coming out. First card. All right, we got the higher font here. Some type of um, traditional belief with the three of swords in reverse right here at the bottom. Okay, the next card. The three of swords came out, so it's up this time. It was in reverse. Okay, some type of separation here. All right, and you got the five of swords um, in reverse. So something here, something about some type of truth, separation here. Um, some type of hidden agenda got exposed. Ace of coins. Some new money coming in right here. Some new job opportunity. You got the Empress. Yeah. You got the Eight of Swords. All right, you got the Eight of Swords here. Leaving something behind, about to get ready and leave, I guess. With the Empress, a mother here with temperance, some type of balance. Here go the Eight of Cups. Yeah, something about to happen. Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody not leaving something. Two of Wands coming together right here at the bottom. Some type of decision. Okay. All right, so what I'm picking up on, on, on this energy here, it looked like something right here may have came out about 
some type of truth or something right here because the 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 five of swords is something being hidden something not being fair here and maybe this this is um this got exposed and now things are more clear here and then you got the eight of swords here with the empress some type of mother some type of caring energy here i don't know it may it looks like maybe you um care about somebody here and maybe you about to start new or something here i don't know something about some type of renewal we might see death Hmm. And then you got some type of balance with that temperance. So yeah, it looks like you you may be trying to balance something out here. Maybe something just it happened. Now it's time for you to balance something out. Maybe you feel trapped. You know, the eight of swords. Maybe you want to leave something, but you feel trapped here. Because that Eight of Swords is giving me like that trapped, wanting to leave, but trapped energy here. Because then you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. And this is somebody that's like, they thinking about coming back or they thinking about something here. And some type of decision that needs to be made here. Maybe something came out. Maybe it needs to, Maybe there needs to be some type of new beginning here. And um, it got something to do with you having to make that decision, though. This is not this person's decision making. This looks like you having to make a decision. Something about something, something about a belief. Seven of Cups, a bunch of illusions here with the Three of Wands. Some type of direction, Ace of Wands. Something new. Tell me about the Hierophant. What is the traditional belief here? One card, please. What's the traditional belief? Following through on something here. One card. I hate when all these be coming out. One. Thank you. Okay, so the three of pentacles here. This got something to do with money, too. Working together. Finances here. So I think right here it got um finances and teamwork working uh working in a group here some type of group maybe have to share some type of money here tell you more about the 3 of coins Tell me more about the three of coins, please. You got the five of cups. Okay, some type of regret. A bunch of these cups are, you know, emptied out here. Five of Cups. So you may be regretting something here. Let me see. What are you regretting and looking back on? This Two of Cups in reverse with justice. Okay. Let's talk about it. It's looking like something happened here with a... a a relationship because you got your two of cups in reverse or some type of um there was no balance here with you and this person or whoever and you may be regretting something here you may or whoever this person is it could be your energy it could be their energy somebody here 
was sharing some money, sharing some type of, co they was collaborating with somebody, working together. And um, it looked like something happened here. Somebody may have walked away, did something right here and left their cups and they regret it here. And it may have really messed up this situation with the person that they was with. Two of cups is, you know, two people sharing a cup together. This is love. This is, um, you know, equal give and take here, but it's in reverse. And it, it probably caused some type of separation or may cause a separation. Um, you got the three of swords here. So somebody may go cold on somebody, may not want to talk to somebody. I don't know if this is you or is this person. But whatever is going on, whoever this person's energy is, they know for a fact that this is never going to be the same again. This is a lot of things that need to be worked on here. And it's gonna get it's gonna get balanced out with justice. The law is here. You can't run from that. This is Libra energy, right along with the two of coins. It's a lot of two. It's a lot of three and two. That's like teamwork, working together, uh, collaboration, group activity stuff. I don't know what this person wants to do, but this person looks like they're trying to build, or they want to work or something here. After portraying you right here with this um, with this seven of swords, somebody lied and cheated and stole, and they were moving too fast here with the chariot. Okay, tell me about the separation here. These two people separated. Or about to go into separation or about, remember, the tarot is future, past, and present. This could be past. Okay. Something got something to do with love. Ace of Cups. New love or love. Somebody want to, something got something to do with some love that you had with somebody here. Somebody could be very emotional. They're not showing it, but they emotional. This could be you. You know, you got this Eight of Wands energy here. And then the page of coins. Somebody could be a younger uh, person here. Tell me about this love. Tell me more about this love. This six of wands. Somebody got noticed and got and, and they got noticed for the wrong reasons. This person has lost their their popularity. They they done lost they done lost their attention that they they was getting from you. Cause this person's the six of wands are inverse. And when it's up, that means somebody is noticed. People know who this person is. There's a victory lap, you know what I'm saying? There's celebration. But right now that's not happening right now with this person. It's more like they're they're not going to, they can't get, this person's not going to get that same energy from you. Let me see. Yeah. You got the, um, yeah. you were sharing with this person, the six of pentacles here. Whoever this person is that you loved or, or that still loves you, that's still here, this love here, you was working with this person. You was giving this money. Six of Pentacles is somebody that gives somebody money that helps a person. So you was helping this person out. You was giving to this person financially. Yeah. There was some type of fight. Five of Wands here, arguments, the Knight of Cups. This person could be younger. They could be a player. You hear you go right here, Pisces, Queen of Cups. You guys probably fought a lot and got into a lot of arguments, but it was it, it's, it, it must be a lot of passion here still between you and this person. Yeah, the five of the five of pentacles. This is a loss. Could be a loss coming. So this person got caught. All right. So 
They was being unfair here. Everything was hidden, but something's not hidden anymore here. With this um, five of swords, tell us what was hidden. What got exposed. All right, you got the nine of uh, pentacles here. Some type of wishful thinking, some type of money here. Somebody could be could have been hiding money or could have been something about some type of money. The fool, somebody took a risk. Or was off to some type of new beginning here. And it didn't work. Yeah, the nine of cups. Whoever this person is. Well, no, the King of Cups, my bad. You got the King of Cups here. This is your energy. So money here, taking a risk here, King of Cups, Pisces male. I don't know. You might have took took a lot of risks and challenges and gave a lot of money and time or whatever to whatever this was, and it has you trapped. Um, to be honest with you, you don't have to be here. Look at how, um, oh boy, he got the devil and he got the angel right there, but he just looking up, he in a daze. He don't know where he going. He just walking. So I honestly feel like wherever you was going, you was just walking into something that you had no idea about. And it was a lot of money involved and it was a lot of love involved. This person knew this too. So whoever you was dealing with, they knew that you you love them or love them and have money. They know about your financial stuff. You are um, highly financial sta financially stable. They they may look at it like they may there may be people that look at it and don't see that, but you're very you're very good with money. You still got your nine of pentacles. There's no way you still have that. Plus, you're still giving right here with the six. I feel like you still would give to this person because that's your last card from there. On top of the king of cups, right next to it, you still have somewhat of this love and care and energy for whoever or whatever this situation is about. Let's talk about you being trapped, though. Somebody may be wanting to keep you trapped because they know that they can't get the same shit from somebody else, probably. Let's see. Yeah, this page of wands. There's the there's page young energy popping up. Young energy. Page of wands, fast moving, knight of wands. Yeah, it's a lot of wand energies. This person you could be dealing with could have fire in their chart. This person could be a bit of erratic, kind of like fast moving. The devil, Capricorn energy right here at the bottom. This person want to keep you trapped. They want to keep you locked in. They got wand energy. They fast. They don't want you to up and leave. Queen of Cups again. Tell me more about this wand energy. Tell me about the wand energy, please. The Hermit. My favorite card. The devil keep popping up again. Pisces, you might not want to be tied down. But this person might want to. They move very fast and quick. But it's going to require them to go on to hermit. They're going to have to sit back and think about some things. Because I think they want to keep you trapped. I don't think that's going to be happening for too long. Something may change here. Who is this empress? I'm going to tell you something about being trapped. It's not fun. And when 
when you free, nobody can touch you. So people hate freedom when they see it from somebody that they don't want to leave. So And then being trapped, there's no fun. There's no fun in being trapped. The magician. There's somebody here. They could be doing black magic here. This empress, mother energy. Somebody here may want to try to stop something with the chariot in reverse. Tell us more about this empress energy. Foxes, be careful because you got people here that want to stop something. High priestess, you know this though. This is you. Whoever this person is, there's there's two energies here. There's somebody that loves you that wants to keep you stuck with them. And there's this empress energy, somebody here that's pregnant or a mother. They they got evil intentions. They may try to do some black magic or they probably pissed off and mad about something here. Whoever this is, the magicians in reverse, black magic, spell work. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ with the chariot right here in reverse. Whoever this emperor is, is they, they bitter, bitter energy here. You know about this person already, though. You're the high priestess. You know about this person. Here you go, the hangman right here, Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles with justice. Um, whoever was trying to do spell work or trying to do something is is backfired, by the way, because the chariot is here next to it in reverse. If it was up, that means that it, it's still going on. But if somebody was trying to do spell work on you, it backfired. You're the high priestess. You're higher than the empress. So the high priestess and the queens, they're high as a high. So you can't be touched. So whoever don't want you to manifest or grow, it may this may look like somebody. It could be somebody here that's trying to like stop this person that wants you to like stop stop y'all whole little plan here. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Whatever happened between you and this lover here, it's gonna take a while for things to get rebuilt here. Tell me more about temperance. The balance. Tell us about balance, please. Sagittarius energy. Tell us about balance. Mm -hmm. The four of pentacles. Somebody holding on to you. It got something to do with judgment. Somebody's finna, you know, they went under judgment, um, a judgment call. Like, they had to actually figure out something here. The angels and God talking to them, spirits, their feelings, their energy. And they got something about holding on. Tell us about judgment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. It has something to do with you leaving, Pisces, or about to leave. Here go the Star Energy, Aquarius, hope and healing with the world here. Some type of change. It has something to do with a change. I don't know if you was about to get ready and leave. Whoever this person is. But you, I don't think you did because right here, you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that's looking back and reminiscing and wanting to go back to something. This has something to do with you leaving, though. But you didn't for some of y'all. Some type of, some type of, um, 
yeah. Somebody needs to sleep more. Tell us about the Eight of Cups in reverse, please. The Three of Cups, a third party here. You got the Three of Cups in reverse, some type of drinking. It has something to do. Yeah, there's two energies here, including yours. Third party, somebody else, a Queen of Swords, a uh, Libra, um, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And this Knight of Cups, devil energy underneath it. Some player energy and some bitter person here, some bitter woman here. Queen of Swords, somebody that's cold, mean, assertive, straight to the point, no emotion. So th something happened with a third party here. And it required you about to get ready and up and leave, but you didn't leave yet. Okay, so tell us what happened with this third party in this, this situation. Friendship. Jealousy. People talking shit. The three of cups. Okay, yeah. Seven of cups. Illusions and confusion. Illusions and confusion. It has something to do with a home and a family. Somebody was conflicted here, torn between two or something like that. And then from what it looks like, the situation didn't go as planned. But whoever this person is, they know what home is. This devil energy, they keep popping out. Capricorn energy. Some got something to do with their money in their home. Some didn't go as planned here. And somebody had to make a decision. King of Swords. Tell us more about the decision that had to be made. The Queen of Cups. Somebody chose you. Because the truth, they didn't, they was hiding the truth. Ace of Swords in reverse. Why was they hiding the truth? Oh, they can't do it anymore. Justice is here. The truth came out. Clarity came out. Okay, so somebody was... It was something about some type of decision. And the truth came out about this decision make, though. They can't keep on... Um, hiding the truth here with this ace of swords being in reverse um block clarity here it's it can't be blocked no more somebody got to be honest with justice here things got balanced out so that's the end of that whatever happened it got balanced but somebody watching this page of swords this this um libra aquarius gemini energy they're watching they watching this King of Wands here. Somebody got wand energy. Somebody here is still watching. Even though a choice has already been made. Hmm. Tell me about this high priestess. Tell me about the hermit. Tell me about this family. Tell me about justice. Yeah, something crazy happened here. But whoever this person is, this 
wand energy, this fast moving energy, this male here, they um they left someone else for you. It's looking like or they about to. They're 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 really about to. They already didn't. Tell me about the high priest. This is you. Tell me what you know. This is you, Pisces. What do you know? Two of coins. Balance. Trying to balance stuff out. So you're trying to balance this out. The two of coins is somebody that's trying to balance multiple things at once before they drop things like a, a juggler. So you're trying to juggle everything. star one to come out in reverse this emperor in reverse aries energy hmm. you may be trying to balance everything and it may make you somewhat a bit of impulsive and erratic or because y'all could have fire in y'all chart. Or this could be this emperor that y'all trying to balance out this. Whoever this person is, they kind of erratic. They a little impulsive. They kind of like an answer. They kind of very controlling here. When the emperor is in reverse, he's he's a bit controlling, arrogant. And he sees things his way only. So if you're trying to, it looks like you're trying to balance this person out too. Your money and this person. This person may come off. A bit controlling, but that's where that trap energy comes in. It. Tell me about this family. The ten of coins. Death. There's gonna be a rebirth. This is what this person wants. They want a rebirth. Yeah, this person wants to work with you. The Eight of Pentacles. They want a rebirth. They want this home. They want this family. They want this money here. It's something with money, too. They want to get money. Um, they don't want to lose here. They want a rebirth with you. Talk talk about the hermit. Who's finna go into hermit? Or what is this guy? Hey, this? Somebody trying to soul search here, find a purpose. I think it's this person here. Yeah. This person may be a little cold, you know what I'm saying? Not of sorts. They still trying to find a purpose here. Yeah. The Six of Swords. You may just need to give this person a little bit of time, though. They about to they gonna go through some trials and tribulations and stuff like that. And it may require them to I'm just saying, you still gonna have to give this person some time. Cause it's not it's it's not gonna work like that. They're trying to transition, you know what I'm saying? They leave them they leave them behind this baggage that they brought. They brought some baggage. You know what I'm saying? And they just trying to move into, you know, calmer waters here. But they brought a lot of baggage. Now they got to, you know what I'm saying? They really do got to stop what they doing here. 
because justice is here. It's time for them to transition and move forward. Let's talk about justice. Yeah, the six of cups. This person, they think about, you know, the past a lot. You know what I'm saying? They think about the past a lot. And um, justice is here to help them. But they think about the past. They think about memories and good times that they shared with you. And they need strength, you feel me? But this person, they, you know, the truth is here. Clarity is here. Everything that's happened, everything that's came to light. The world is here. A change is coming. Page of Cups. King of Coins. So... It's going to be a big change with you and this person, whoever you was dealing with. It's going to be a change and it's going to be a big transition. And it, I don't think you guys are going to, you know, Pisces, I don't think you're ever going to get over the third party or whoever else is here involved or whatever. But to be honest with you, you are protected and nothing's going to happen to you. I, I'm pretty sure of that. I just feel like right now, it's just need to take one step at a time here. And this person, they got to still focus on what they need to work on. Because they still do have a lot to work on. This is proof right here in the pudding. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. What's going to happen with this relationship? I'm just going to answer this card. Cosmic insight. It's going to be a lot of challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. That's what y'all need to work on. Mm. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry. Rem reminiscence. So, yeah. You and this person have a, a strong sexual bond. Saw so Earth sign at the bottom towards Rick of Capricorn. Someone else is in the middle trying to sabotage this though. That's that that energy I felt that's still watching. They still trying to get into the middle. Um it said something about your intuition, too. I don't know. I feel like there's a bitter energy that still is watching. Like I told y'all, getting a new pet, a current one, loving one. So take care of y'all pet. If y'all share a pet together, um, take care of the pet. Some type of love spell you've been bewitched here at the bottom. Yeah, somebody could be doing candle magic magic in general so just be careful somebody here just mm -hmm. i don't really like who the other person is and this is not your person's energy or your energy it's another person here that's trying to get in get entwined with this type of marriage in a house. Somebody may want to try to get married to you. Okay. High honor. A mature woman. That's a mature woman here. 
This is very much you, Pisces female. Somebody's concerned about something, though. I don't know if this is you. Great fortune. So great fortune is coming your way. Somebody may go into bad health, though. I don't know. Playing with stuff. Let's see. Let's get one of these. See soulmates at the bottom. Pull four. Lightning, it says, sudden change, shocking news, surprising epiphany, uphill transformation. Yeah, it's going to be a transformation like I told y'all. This person, they want a change. It's going to be a big change here. Something's going to happen. Some lightning is going to strike. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Okay. All right, it says right here, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, um, shocking attack. Yeah, somebody, you know, I don't know if this was you who got that concern with that news here. Um, you know, something had happened and you got some news about something and it really did change the relationship. You know, self-indulgence, okay, it says focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Pisces, please focus on yourself. You know, even though somebody still wants to love you and give you this unconditional love and falling in love with you still, because this, you know, or this could be your energy as well. Still focus on yourself because you got stabbed in the back. You know, whatever happened here, you know, it, it happened and it, it wasn't meant to happen. You know, um, well, I take that back. It might have been meant to happen. I don't like saying that. Because I feel like whatever bad happened, y'all did not deserve it. But maybe it needed to happen for you to focus on yourself again. I feel like, Pisces, this is your time. You need to focus. There seems to be something new coming your way with money. It's a lot of money in your um, your um, in your in cards. So it's a lot of new stuff coming. Let's see. This, it's a lot of great fortune. It's a lot of money here. So you could just, you know, do bad by yourself. Yeah, increase part of fortune. What did I say? Money. So it's finna be a lot of money. Ninth house. Keep the faith. Let's get y'all an angel card from this deck and in a Bible scripture. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this reading. Sorry I've been gone, y'all. I've been going through some stuff. I'm fine, though. All right. It says Cupid, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So keep loving. Love yourself. Love the people around you who love you. You'll be just fine. And love God always. Go ahead and get you a, um, a Bible scripture. What does Pisces need to know, Heavenly Father? Tell us something. Nothing shall be impossible until you, Matthew 17, 20. Nothing's impossible when it comes down to you, Pisces. Forgiven, you shall be forgiven as well. And that's Luke 6, 37. 
I love y'all so much. I know y'all been going through a tough year. It's almost over, Pisces, all right? We got the rest of October, November, and then December. Before then, please focus on yourself. Worry about what's important in your life around you. Only you put yourself first. Until next time, bye.